Hi, everybody. This is uh, Rabbi Glenn Black coming to you, uh, Erev Pesach or so, uh, from my home. And I wanted to share with you an important message that um, I have, uh, that I use every year, that I share every year at my Seder table. Uh, and I think it's an important message because I think in every generation, we have to find the mitzvah of the day. Uh, and every year I try to find the mitzvah, of the, what's the mitzvah of this day now? Uh, and I think um, if I could look at the world around me, I would say ensuring that we stay positive, upbeat, um, optimistic, um, and we, we remember um, that we are of a responsibility to continue to teach the next generation of how important, how beautiful, uh, and how Judaism has sustained uh, no matter what, no matter how what kind of trials and tribulations, we have always maintained our ability under trying times to be strong and to be meaningful and to never give up and to always realize that um, uh, there's a light at the end of every tunnel and that we have to pray for all those who are sick and infirmed right now, those who are uh, in hospitals, um, those who are sick at home as well. And uh, we feel horrible for our communities around the world, uh, for all of humanity who are suffering through this time right now. But the Jewish people, we must stay strong and optimistic and, um, and keep um, reminding and reinforcing our children that this too shall pass and that the Jewish people have been through worse, much worse, uh, and we can get through this as well. I want to share with you the story that I share at my home um, Pesach night uh, with my children for many years now. I came across this story called The Story of a Prayer. It's about a community and their rabbi from Holland who find their way to Bergen-Belsen on Erev Pesach 1944. And there they realize, of course, there's no semblance of Jewish life. They could not have a Seder. There would be no Haggadahs. There would be no Jewish life. But the question was, would there be matzah? Of course not. What would they do with their, what would they do with their chametz? It was a piece of bread, their ration of bread. They couldn't give that up. What would they do? So Rabbi David, Rabbi Aaron David, who was a chief rabbi of their community, he gathered with some other rabbis in Bergen-Belsen and they decided on the following plan. On the night of Pesach, they pulled out a long table and he sat at the head of the table and there he conducted the Pesach Seder by memory for all those in the male's barracks in Bergen-Belsen. And when it came to the part where they would say the blessing over the matzah, Baruch atah Hashem elokeinu melech haolam asher ki deshan mumitzvosav etzivanu al achilat matzah. Blessed are you, God, King of the Universe, who sanctified us to eat the matzah. Instead, they read the following, and I'm going to read it to you. Avinu Sheba Shemayim, our Heavenly Father, it is clear to you that our will is to do your will and celebrate Passover by eating matzah and by not eating chametz. But we are sick at heart because of the oppression and the mortal danger in which we find ourselves. It prevents us from fulfilling these commandments. We are ready and willing to fulfill your mandate that we live by the commandments and that we not die by them. And we are observing your warnings. Protect yourself and keep your soul alive. We therefore beseech you to keep us alive, Hashem. Sustain us and redeem us speedily so that we may observe your statutes, carry out your will, and serve you wholeheartedly. Amen. And then, when they thought they could keep no other mitzvah in Bergen Bells and everything was stripped away, they took this piece of bread, the rabbi did, and he took a bite out of it. And then he encouraged all his other brothers to do the same. The mitzvah that night was to stay alive. The mitzvah was not to eat matzah. The mitzvah was to eat chametz because that's what needed to happen in order for the Jewish people at that time to sustain itself. Rabbi David did not survive the war. He and his family, many of the people there were taken, of course. But the lesson is clear. 
in every generation, we have to find the mitzvah of the day. And I do believe the mitzvah of the day right now is to stay positive and encouraging and be great role models to our children that no matter what, God, the Almighty, has a plan, even if we don't understand it right now. It might be chaos to us, but it's not chaos to Him. There's so much we don't understand, and that's okay. The Jewish people have always gone through difficult challenges and trials. We will overcome this as well. The Shana Habab Yerushalayim is a call. It's a time where we say, God willing, God, one day we will be Yerushalayim. Our ultimate redemption will ultimately be. And this year, when we open the door to Eliyahu Hanavi with our big cups in our hands, our glasses of wine, and we celebrate the coming of Mashiach, God willing, when we open that door, it will be a true door uh, open to the world where we can reconnect with all of humanity in a safe and healthy way. God bless you. God bless your families. Have a healthy, happy, and kosher Passover. Thank you.